Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Naruto and Kurama's final fist bump. That was some episode, huh? <laughs> so, can't believe he's gone. So, you know, if you haven't, I'm sorry I'm spoiling it now for anyone who hasn't seen it, but, oh man, that was devastating. <laughs> like I read it in the manga anyway, but it was like so long ago they were in the manga, seen it animated, it was good. I think the animation, the animators did better actually than the, the manga, I think. You know, because you got all the flashbacks and things. Oh, so sad. I'm not crying, I swear. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's go. So we'll start with Kurama. So it's kind of like an awkward shot. It's kind of shot from Naruto's, like behind Naruto. So Kurama's real big. We've got like a foreshortened arm. So take your time. I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with Kurama up here in the top right hand corner. Start with his face. Or should we start with his fist? Oh, I should have decided this before I started. Yeah, so they're like connected by their fists. So we'll start with like Kurama's face. And then we might draw Naruto and then connect with the fist, right? Okay, so up here. Start with Kurama. Uh, so he's got like big frowning sort of eyebrow sort of area, right? So it goes up and this will go off to a point all the way, like off here. And so then this will go back down to the bottom of his ear. Right down there. And then the top of his ear comes around this way. Right, and then this goes up the back. Here somewhere. Right, roughly like that. And so then, so we've got like a dark section inside, right? So it kind of comes down the inside of his ear. Comes along this line, and then how far around his eyes did it go? Oh, yeah. So it like comes in around underneath his eye. It comes to like a point in here. It goes back in underneath here. So, right, so then he's looking sort of down at Naruto, right? So we've got like his top eyelid line just here. And then the bottom eyelid comes down underneath. And then there's what we can see of his iris just there and his long pupil, just like so, okay? We do the same thing pretty much on the other side. So we're on a sort of horizontal sort of line, right? So it goes, this one will go up, kind of off the top of my page. And then the top of the frown here will go up off the page that way. And we just connect these while we're here with the top of his head. So it's like a hairy sort of spiky. line goes around like that and then the ear comes back in like somewhere here and then we go off my page that way again and then we'll have the black line like the other side comes in and around underneath his eye back to there and again Eyelid line, bottom eyelid line, iris and pupil, so just two lines here, and his iris looking down there. So then, shape for his face, right? So Coming from his ears, right? So we got like this hairy sort of cheeks. Right, like this. And 
so this will come down this way around his chin it can be sort of a hairy line if you want it to be you know kind of textured with fur Right, and then his mouth, so it curves down for his snout, bumps up and under, and around the other side. Up to there. And then, so I think he's got, he does have like black lips, I think. So there's like a section that curves around his teeth. Do it black, we might as well, it'll just be easier instead of having to color later on. Just thickening up this sort of lip line of his. Right, something like that. And we have teeth on the inside, right? So we got teeth coming down like so. And I think he's a big fangs in the corners, so like like real big long big long one there. Just keep going up the side of his mouth. And the teeth underneath sort of go under top teeth, sort of here. And you can see some just at the side of his mouth. Just there. And his mouth's open, so in between the gaps, I'm going to just color them in. Right, so then his nose, so his nose kind of comes across here. Comes down either side. And then we have his nostrils just there. Down around underneath, same thing on this side. And he also has um, like these like lines that like Naruto has on his cheeks, you know. That kind of thing. Right. So, give me some wrinkled sort of frown lines there as well. Okay, so, like his neck is like here, right? So it's like he's, Got a big body all coming down this way. And then a big fist, sort of here, right? What would be the best way? I guess we'll have to do in some of his anatomy just so we get it in the right place. So we'll go 
shoulder starts sort of here and everything's kind of foreshortened, right? So what that means is like his shoulder sort of comes around. Right, starting there. And then his elbow sort of comes out this way. So sort of tricep. And then forearm line. It comes down here. Right. The other side of the forearm it comes down this way. So, it, so foreshortening, right, is everything looks sort of shorter than it is. So this is like his bicep, right? So. So, so that's his shoulder. I know I said we were going to do Naruto next, but just because the anatomy is kind of a bit tricky, I guess we'll do his anatomy. So, like his armpits here, so his chest muscle goes into his armpits always, right? So his chest will come across like there. something like that and Kurama usually has like a diaphragm or something coming across his stomach and like that's like the central line for his body there right and so then his other trapezius muscle there shoulder comes out like so Biceps are there. Right, so that's like his other arm. So then, thumb, right, hand. So thumb comes down, sticks out here, comes down around real far. So it comes down nearly to the bottom of my page, right? So this is his whole hand, right? This is how big he is. So his thumb comes underneath, right? And then we meet Naruto here somewhere. So like the hand on the other side. So we've got like wrist bones and bumpy sort of things here and then this comes out down and this is his little finger that's right his little finger comes down and it'll go in to there right so we've got like naruto in here somewhere right, like the side of his body's there Side of his body here somewhere, I don't. Maybe. Yeah, like I think the side of his body should be here. And just goes in to there. And his leg starts like here somewhere.
Right, so we'd have to do Naruto now, right? So Naruto's fist is touching Kurama's, right? And we can just see the back of his head. So I guess like doing his back would be best. Okay, we can see one ear. Okay, so we could just see Naruto down here. We'll start with his back, right? So his collar, like so, right? And then the back of his shoulder comes out down, like he's got a cloak on, so it makes it a bit easier for us. This comes down this way. Down like that, right? And he has that writing on his back, so it's like a sort of T. I'll just draw it in sort of standard and then I'll thicken it up. Another sort of T here, the comma, and then the box, like that. And I'll just make these a bit more like calligraphy, right? Right, roughly like that, right? So, so then the back of Naruto's head, right? So he comes sort of out this way. Comes up and we start like getting these sort of hair spikes. <clears throat> Those characteristic Naruto hair spikes coming around. back of his, his head and his ear so his ear like comes around here like so and then the ear just like there and then his cheek like that just on his cloak right so then his arm and his elbow so his elbow and arm come up like so this way and then it turns up and then we have one two three four knuckles down around and then goes into his sleeve there and so his sleeve goes up and around Yeah, so I think like the, his thumb has like some bandages and stuff on it. Like and his wrist is like these crisscross. Bandages like that. And we can see the other side of his arm just there. Goes up that way. And then some black lines. Like so. 
Right, so then um, Corimus sort of thumbnail goes in that way. And then we can see the rest of his fingers and knuckles and things, right? So, let's say coming out from Naruto's armpit just here, it goes up. There can be like skin lines and things. And then the next one comes up from here. Like so, again, knuckles can go this way. Knuckle line maybe there. Right, so this is all his hand. So his next one comes out here. And comes up, and this one changed direction, so it'll go like up this way. Maybe like another knuckle line in there. And then this is his index finger, so it comes underneath here real big. And let's see. Comes around into there. And then we have like a bump for skin. Maybe another one for the side of the finger, goes up there, and a knuckle line, just there. Yeah, so this all goes in that way. This is his bicep, tricep, like so. Okay, so. Nearly there, not too bad, right? So his his other arm, right? So bicep here, and then his like forearm comes this way because it's like resting on his other knee, right? So and then his hand comes down real long here. Just go down off the bottom of my page, and then like that's tricep and elbow, and it's like resting on his knee, right? So his knee. Out here, real big, so he's all hunkered down, and then his arm in there. This is like wrist bone, that's elbow. down like so and we might see some fingers here a little bit comes up around the back and we've got like a long fingernail some skin lines what we can see of it anyway this comes up here and so that's like his leg, and then his other leg there goes off that way. <clears throat> and his feet are down there somewhere, but you can't really see. Maybe no, we can't see any of that. So that's just more leg lines and stuff coming down to there and. <clears throat> for something there and then so tails what we can see of his tails so we have one going off this way to there and then the other side of it that way and then another one in behind that one coming out for me like his shoulder going up there and then this one can we have some fur on it every now and then and on 
that way. And from here. Another one going that way. Another one coming out from Naruto's back. So we're down here. Like so. And these can have hatching lines coming down them like, like this kind of stuff. Just to show sort of the sides of them. And one coming out from behind his head. Just from his trapezius, just there. And shoulder. So, do we think he's really gone? Like, do we think he's gone forever? Hardly. Do you think? I'm in denial. Can't believe it. Looks like his knee. So his thigh, his knee will come out and come back like there somewhere, maybe. Um, do you think he's gone? sad but there he is Naruto and Kurama's farewell hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching like subscribe and see you in the next video bye